back guys okay i am back i am back oh my gosh it's been so long but let's just get right into the video so i moisturize my very textured skin i don't know if you can see the texture as much as i can but my skin is very textured so we just moisturize that and then i go in with my favorite drugstore primer which is baby skin by covergirl i love this primer it's a very um blurring to my skin but it's not as blurring as it should be because my skin i don't know it has a way of just showing its texture even after the primer and the foundation and the powder it just has a way of <laughs> just not working so if you have any suggestions of a good primer please leave it down in the comment section below thank you very much and after all that's in i go in with my mac Con conceal and contour palette and color correction palette that's not what it's called i completely lied to you guys but that's what i go into my face with the darkest shade on that palette because that's the only one that matches my skin tone completely i know it's not a foundation and it should not be used as a base but i'm not going anywhere this is just for youtube so i use it as a base and also i went to mac and i thought i was an nw55 shade but turns out that i'm not nw55 is too light for me so i tried out the 58 and the 60 and both of them did not work so my conclusion right now is that mac does not have a shade for me i know that's a big statement to make but honestly i feel like that is my truth right now and it's so sad because i really love their product so if anyone is a good color match just by looking at me let me know what shade you think that i could be okay and then i go in with the same little palette thing but i go in with a lighter shade just to get rid of my hyperpigmentation not really get rid of it but um just to highlight under my eyes where the hyperpigmentation is and also around my mouth So after I blend all that in, I go in with the Fit Me um, foundation. This shade is a little bit too dark for my skin. I thought it was going to be a good foundation base for me, but obviously, as we mentioned before, color matching is not my strong suit, so it ended up looking a little bit gray also. I just think that that's the Fit Me formula. It just it's graying honestly for my skin i don't like it it's not too warm so i use it as a concealer now so i mean which works better for me but everyone is different that's just me after that i go in with a flat top brush to um, blend in the contour because i just think blending with a brush just gives you more control and also helps you to place it where you want to place it if you know what i'm trying to say and then after all that is done and contoured i go back in with a lighter highlighter shade just on my cheekbones and on my nose just to make those pop a little bit more So once that is all done, I go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, which is my favorite, favorite powder. It's affordable. It's not um, too expensive. And also, it doesn't leave you looking like a complete ghost. So <laughs> I love this powder so much. But I have to say, like, it doesn't last too long, especially if you have oily skin like myself. Um, I find that it lasts maybe, like, maybe an hour or two and then your skin starts to you know kind of absorb it too much but it works and then i hi i set my laugh lines because i have laugh lines whether or not i'm i'm talking so like the wrinkle around my mouth is very distinct so i put more setting powder right there just to avoid that from showing up too much and then i go in with my james charles at uh, x morphe palette it's is that the name of it i don't even know if that's the right name of it and then my little brush here guys don't judge this is my favorite um eyeshadow brush and broke it broke a long time ago and i don't remember where exactly i got it from so i was like i'm not replacing you because i don't remember and also it's functional look 
I just put some tape on it and it works. It works really well. And this color right here is Cola on the palette, which looks like a blue, like a dark navy blue, but it applies as almost a black. So, mm, I was a little bit like, eh, not too happy about that, to be honest. So to correct that black color, I went in with um, Brother and then tried to put it on top of the cola just to make it a little bit navy blue, which did the job. And then what I'm doing right now is just setting a base for my brighter, brighter eyeshadow that's going to go on my crease. So then I go in with B, which is a little bit um, not as pigmented as I would have hoped to be. This palette honestly is just hit or miss. There are some colors that either are very pigmented and others you really just have to work them in there as much as possible. Like this yellow, this color is called B on the palette. It's a beautiful color. It's just, I mean, it just took a lot of work to get it as pigmented as I wanted it to look. And then in my inner corner, I go in with acapella and then I go in with glitter. This is my favorite. I found this on Amazon for like $7. It was like six or seven um, different colors and I love it. Oh my gosh. And then highlight my brow bone and blend everything together. And my hair is done. Absolutely. Yes. So high edges. And we're done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's falling. Hi guys, sorry, I forgot to close the video. Um, my name is Tantali, welcome to my YouTube channel, and I will post a life update. Everything is falling apart. A life update. <laughs> a life update and why I fell off the face of YouTube in just a few videos, but it's too late right now, people are sleeping, I don't wanna make noise for anybody, but thank you for watching this video and keep an eye out for my next videos. I will do a variety of things, and I hope you like this look, I think it's so cute. Um, Yes, it matches my Dira. Isn't this pretty? My mom. Oh, this, my, the earrings are from my mom. And this as well is from my mom. It's really special. <laughs> so, yes, I will see you in my next few videos. Let's just get this show on the road. I don't want to post a whole um, explanation thing. I feel like I really need to just say why I fell off the face of YouTube all of a sudden. And I had set unrealistic goals for myself and so on. I did that. So when I did not meet them, I got really upset and I got very frustrated with the whole thing and the whole process and it all went to shit. So that's my fault. That's nobody else's fault. I look mad cute. Dude, this look is life. I will see you in my next videos and thank you so much to my already subscribers and the people that are looking to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. I will do my best. No, that this time for real, I am in it. I am going to be consistent. Hit the notification bell because I am going to be consistent. It, it's going to get to a point, hopefully, God, to be annoying, okay? So, thanks for watching this video and bye.